Welcome to Morning News today. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Uh, you are around here just taking some holiday time, but uh, you somehow agreed to be persuaded to perform in Monte Cassino, uh, uh, guesting a little bit in that uh, popular uh, musical um, uh, uh, Chicago as Velma Kelly. Correct, correct. I'm actually playing Velma Kelly um, on Broadway at the moment, so I took a bit of time off to come on vacation, see family and friends, and uh, Samantha Pio, who plays is the part here in, um, in South Africa um, has very kindly um, suggested with Hazel Feltman, the producer, that uh, I do a couple of shows. And, um, you know, I, I did the show here in 2005 and 2008 when Samantha played Roxy. And um, so it feels um, very nostalgic and uh, kind of full circle for me to be able to perform on the South African stage again. So you did it first time in 2005. I did. Are, are some of the people who performed then still uh, today, like yes, yourself, they are. still involved with Chicago? Yes, they are. So, you know, when you become part of the Chicago um, um, show, you really become part of a family. And that happens worldwide, wherever there is a cost. And the show is worldwide at the moment. It's done by so many different nations. And um, so no matter who's been in the show and who hasn't been in the show, it, it becomes part of a group that is very close-knit. Yeah. What, was Chicago in, way back in 2005 a launching pad for you to go international or you had already had some exposure? I had a small amount of exposure on the UK tour prior to that and that's when Hazel Feltman uh, asked me to come out to do the South African production. But yes, that's exactly what happened. Um, it launched my career. And, what is yeah. it about Chicago that grabs you, that keeps you there? Well, it's, a, it's the kind of musical that is timeless, for one thing. It's been running for 22 years on Broadway. Um, the story is uh, very relevant, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and it's about the press that, you, that manipulates um, in, in ways that are, is very amusing. <laughs> and, uh, and, of course, it has all these wonderful show-stopping numbers. Yeah. So it has everything. That, that I saw in a press release about you that you are regarded as South Africa's Charlize Tron of musical films. Really? Well, that's great. Tron in the Oscar <laughs> How does that make you feel when you hear that? Oh, certainly proud. I, mean, I love that. I don't know how true that is, but... <laughs> But it's great. But you look great. I mean, really, you've been <laughs> doing this you. for, for a long time. And now, theater in South Africa currently is not growing to the extent that people would want. But, I mean, it does attract people. You get shows like Chicago. People will, will think, I want to go and see this international Broadway kind of thing. Uh, when you're looking into South Africa, I mean, you, you told me off you're born in East London. Yes. As a South African, you look at our state of theater. Well, how do you feel about it? I mean, what could we be doing more to make sure that it really gets right up there? Well, I'm, I'm not speaking from, um, from a, a point of actually knowing exactly what is going on in theatre in South Africa, but I do know in other countries they educate children from a very young age to go to the theatre, and uh, I would hope that takes place here, and maybe more. You know, that's, it becomes a culture as opposed to yeah. um, something you I do. I mean, some of our theatre houses recently have had financial troubles, they've closed down, but sure. others are still up and, 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 um, and, and running. Yeah. Now, um, I, I, I just want to know, I mean, how do you keep the energy going? I mean, you look so great. You know, <laughs> Thank you. You've been doing you. this for years and I years. Have. It's your first love. It's uh -huh. obvious. But what keeps you going? Well, um... It's my job, and if I, if I, you know, it's my job, and I love it, and I'm very grateful to be able to do it and to have the facility to be able to do it. But I take care of it. I make sure that I eat well, sleep well, and and. Uh, yeah, because it is hard work. Eh? It's very hard work. I do eight shows a week. Well, we all do eight shows a week. We have one da day off, um, and uh, weekends are when we'd have double shows. So it's it's a, it's not as glamorous as people think it is, but. Uh, once you get bitten by the theater bug, you know, there's nothing that can change that for you. Yeah, so you're here for a short while. I, I don't am. know how, how many more weeks you are here. You're going to be performing a couple of shows. I am, on the 12th, the 14th, and the 16th. Yes. And uh, that's it. And, but the show runs until the 26th, and uh, it's selling very well, I've heard. And uh, so... Uh, I would hope everybody gets a chance to come and see it. It's really a terrific show. Yeah, you, you are here uh, taking a vacation at a very uh, important time in our history. Yes. With the sixth uh, uh, provincial and uh, national elections taking place uh, tomorrow, yes. 25 years into our democracy. I'm hoping some of that will, uh, 
will make you come back home one day because you, you've, been, you've been overseas for quite some time now. I have. I've been in, in New York for about 10 years, um, actually most of the time doing Chicago. And uh, yes, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here at this important time. Thank you very much. That's uh, Amra Faye Wright. Uh, she's here on vacation. She'll be joining the South Africa cast of the Chicago musical, which is currently on at the Teatro in Monte Cassino.